I have chosen to use the forms and conventions rather than develop or challenge as I wanted to ensure it looked professional and fit the codes and conventions of a real music magazine. On the front cover, I have used many forms and conventions to ensure my music magazine will look professional. The masthead, Jazz Today, is placed at the top of the page and it is in the biggest font on the page. It also has its own font that isn't used anywhere else. The masthead is in the colour white to stand out on the black background to attract attention. Also, the main cover line is in bold white because the main cover line needs to attract the audience. The text is placed below the main image and also I use the word exclusive which is a buzzword and this makes the audience believe that they are getting an offer and will make them want to purchase the magazine. The whole of the main cover line is in bold and the girl's name is in a bigger font to stand out and look as if it is the most important thing on the page. The other cover lines on my front cover are also in white, however a smaller text in the main cover line and also has a blue and green glowing box behind it. The name of the artist or band is in front of the box and the rest of the cover line is either above or below in smaller text. This has challenged forms and conventions of jazz music magazines as none of them have done this before. I have done this because I wanted the name to stand out against the other words and also think that the name of the bands and artist would attract the audience to read the magazine as they are famous and, that, and I also think it would be more attractive to the younger eye. The cover lines are positioned around the main image and in blank spaces. None of them touch or cover the main image's face as she is the most important thing on the front cover, therefore I have followed the forms and conventions of music magazines. The main image is a medium close-up and has a happy facial expression. Her body language is formal and is wearing a smart black blazer. This is because jazz performers tend to be this way and also this will help my target audience to relate to her and the way she dresses and is acting. She is looking directly into the camera which is showing direct address and addressing the audience. The lighting is high key and clear with no shadows as jazz isn't about hiding things or behind appearances. It is about expressing feelings and this will help the audience relate to the magazine and cover star as they may aspire to be famous and on the front of a, a magazine cover like them one day. The price, issue number and date have been placed around the outside and the bottom right hand corner bit of the page because it isn't very important to the reader. In the skyline I have just included a list of names of artists. I have done this to attract the reader by letting them know what's, what is included inside the magazine. The background is a blue or green colour and the text in it is white because this is way more eye-catching to the reader. At the beginning of the skyline I added the word plus as it will make the audience believe they are getting extra information. Another form and convention I have included is the positioning statement which is up to date jazz music and news. It is up to date because I want my magazine to be relatable to a younger target audience and the positioning statement just briefly tells the audience what the magazine is about therefore I made it short, snappy and memorable. On my contents page I have used many forms and conventions to ensure my magazine will look professional and easy to read and navigate. The title, Contents, is the largest text on the page and also is in bold, black, simple font to make it easier for the reader to read. I have also included a smaller version of Masthead in the same font and colour as this is a form and convention of music magazines and I have placed this in the top right hand corner. This is similar to other jazz magazines. The issue number and date are directly below the contents title and is again in small black font because it isn't important to the reader. I have included this because this is a first edition magazine. However, it isn't normal to have the issue number on a jazz magazine. The headlines, regular and feature, are in black font and are in all in capital letters to stand out. They are both placed on the same green blue colour to ensure they look more important to the rest of the text on the page and also this makes it easy for the reader to navigate the page and select what they want to read. The page numbers are all in the same blue green colour and are in bold. They are pl also placed by the left side of the article that they relate to. The page numbers that are placed on the images and the text are in white so that they stand out on the image. I have chosen to include multiple images on my contents page as I wanted it to be visual and informative to the reader, therefore I used a variety of images of artists performing and instruments that link to certain articles on the contents page. The article information is smaller than the subheading and black 
and just includes a little bit of information that briefly tells the reader what it will include. I chose to set my contents page out into three columns. This is because I wanted it to be easy to read, clear and well structured and it also fits in the forms and conventions of music magazines. I included a short editor's letter to my contents page which included a brief description of what the magazine will include. This is done in some, however not all, mo music magazines and just adds a personal touch to the magazine which makes the audience feel more special. On my double page spread I have used many forms and conventions to ensure my music magazine will look clear and easy to read. The main image is of Tony Alford, a young jazz performer. He is looking directly into the camera giving the audience direct address and I use Photoshop to edit the image by putting him on a black background and giving a purple glow around him to make it look simple and classy. The lighting is also high key and clear and his facial expressions suggest he is confident and also has a relaxed body language. I used four main columns, one to include the image and the other three to add text. This makes the double page spread look professional and structured, therefore easy to read. The headline is the biggest and boldest font on the page because this is the artist's name and it is all about him, Tony Alford. The stand first is the introduction to the article and is placed directly below the headline and above where the article starts. This includes who is interviewing, who is being interviewed and a little bit about why. It is also in white text and smaller than the headline, however bigger than the article. I have included a drop capital at the start of the article because it allows the reader to know where the article starts. It is the size of two lines instead of one and is in bold to attract attention. Also, all of the questions are in a blue-green colour and slightly bigger than the answer, and the answers are in white. This is again to allow the article to look structured and easy to read. I also included two pull quotes because this gives the audience a preview of what is in the article. It stands out. My pull quotes include the most interesting parts of my article and also make the reader want to carry on reading. The byline is in the smallest font and at the top of the page as it isn't important to the audience. I have included a blue-green tab at the top of the page therefore it is easy for the audience to navigate the main article. This is done in most jazz magazines as they want the main article to be the main focus. I did this as I wanted it to be the main focus in my magazine too.